welcome to the Courageous Self-Care Podcast. I am your host, Christina Marlett. On this show, we talk about strategic self-care. So that is self-care that goes beyond bubble baths, chocolate, and wine. It even goes beyond exercise, nutrition, sleep, and hydration. It is the kind of self-care that takes courage, and it can be uncomfortable. And for your efforts, you transform your life. I'm excited to share about that. Share about that today. If you would like to get a free gift, you can go to christinamarlette.com. That is my website. And what you will find there is the top 10 energy drains mini course. It will show you 10 ways that you are wasting, probably wasting your energy without noticing it or draining your energy without noticing it and then what to do about it. And I can tell you, I used to want so much more energy and I figured out the way to get it. And it wasn't through sleeping more. It wasn't through changing what I ate. It wasn't through exercising more. I tried all those things and they had good results, but not what I expected. When I realized that I had these other energy drains and stopped up those, uh, that energy that was leaking out, man, I have so much more energy and it has nothing to do with caffeine. So you can go to christinamarlette.com and uh, get that for yourself. So there are 12 foundations of courageous self-care. Today we are diving deeper into how to shift your relationship with time. On yesterday's show, I talked about how you can only experience time through your emotions. Fascinating. If you want to know more about that, you can go to the previous episode. What we were talking about when uh, I decided to finish the show was affirmations about time. You can change how you interact with time. And one of the best ways I've learned to do that is through affirmations. I was sharing with you one that I've been using for many years, and I still say it every day, I have perfect timing. And sometimes it's very obvious that I have perfect timing. I will get to the bank and I will walk right up to the teller, no lineup, and then I turn around to leave, a large lineup of people behind me and I just say, oh, thank you, I have perfect timing. Or I will get on the public transit and I will head on down the steps and within a couple minutes, there comes what I was waiting for. Perfect timing. That's when it's easy. Sometimes perfect timing doesn't feel good. It's uncomfortable to remind myself that I have that perfect timing. So here's an example. I was on my way to a meeting with, um, colleague. I didn't know her very well. We had scheduled this meeting and I left with plenty of time. But then once I got downtown, I had issues with parking. I didn't know where to park. I didn't exactly know where I was going. I circled the block over and over looking for a parking space. Meanwhile, it was getting very close to the meeting time and I was getting stressed out. I was back to my old feelings around time, stress, worry, and anxiety. I reminded myself, I have perfect timing. It's all okay. It doesn't feel like it's perfect timing, but I know that it's actually going to work out. In the meantime, because I knew I was going to be late, I uh, texted the assistant, I emailed the assistant, I called the assistant, and I just thought, okay, I've done my best. I just have to trust that I have perfect timing. And I said that over and over to myself. I didn't repeat, I'm so late, I'm so late, oh my gosh, I'm stressed, I'm so late. That's just affirming the old feelings, the old emotions I had with time. What I kept on affirming is this is going to work out better than I imagined because I have perfect timing. I have perfect timing. I have perfect timing. (sighs) I have perfect timing. Sure enough, when I got to the meeting, it turns out that the assistant I was trying to communicate with no longer, no longer worked for that woman. And the woman didn't even know that I had an appointment with her. So she was running behind and she made time in her schedule to fit me in. 
and I ended up waiting for an extra 10, 15 minutes. So you see, I wasn't late at all. I do have perfect timing. In the moment, it didn't feel like it, but that is how things constantly turn out. Amazing. And that is in strong part because of this affirmation that I've been saying for years. Reprogramming my subconscious so that it has that belief. Before I get into the next set of words that I use, I would love to let you know that I am accepting applications for guest experts to be interviewed on the Courageous Self Care podcast. All you need to do is go to christinamarlette.com. That's Christina with a C-H. Marlette is M-A-R-L-E-T-T.com and fill out the application. You can either share an everyday story of courage or if you have a product, service, or message that aligns with one of the 12 foundations of courageous self-care, you can do a sponsored interview. All the information is on the website. I would love to connect with you. Okay, so affirmation number one that you are welcome to use is I have perfect timing. This is so that we can shift our relationship with time. Affirmation number two that I also say every day in the morning and at night and then whenever I need a little boost during the day is... I am divinely aligned with time. That one just feels really good. I am divinely aligned with time. So it has the same kind of idea as perfect timing, a different way to say it. And what I like about this one is that it helps me, it helps remind me that not everything is up to me. I'm not in control, really. I surrender. And so, yeah, it just feels so good to say this one. It helps me remember that I am co-creating my life. It's not all on my shoulders. Whew, what a relief. Because if I was in charge of everything, <laughs> that's just too much pressure for one per person. So whatever word you use for the energy that connects you to all the other energy in the world, in the universe, whether it's God or the creator or spirit or the universe, whatever word you use for that idea of that infinite intelligence, why not align with it? And in fact, when we do that, just by saying that, we are becoming divinely aligned with time and with that energy. It brings us closer to that part of ourselves. And in a stressful moment, if you can remember to remind yourself, ah, it's all okay. I am divinely aligned with time. What a relief. And the other thing that goes along with that is deadlines. So when we feel like we have a deadline approaching, for the most part, deadlines are artificial. We create them and we try to live up to them and often it gives us a lot of stress. It's not actually all that important. Here's an example. When I was launching my book, How Ugly Awkward Dancing Changes Everything, I had created a deadline, a launch date. It was just arbitrary. It had no significance whatsoever. It was arbitrary. At the same time, my website got hacked and the videos that I had linked in my book to my website were no longer accessible. I was so stressed about this. I lost sleep. This is when time wasn't a great friend of mine. I laid in bed night after night trying to figure out how I was going to solve this issue until one night I realized I had this epiphany as I was laying there trying to get to sleep and uh, I shed so many tears over the loss of my website because it was blacklisted by Google and I shared that story earlier in a different podcast. However, I had this epiphany. I was lying there and all of a sudden I realized, oh, the only one who cares about this deadline is me. No one else cares. Why am I so stressed about it? And immediately I felt this really calm energy go through my body. I was able to fall asleep within minutes. And it was because of this realization that is 
I am divinely aligned with time and I created this deadline. It's completely arbitrary. No one cares but me. Oh, what a relief. So that's affirmation number two. Affirmation number three, I'm going to share with you in a moment. Let's pause here, take a breath. <sighs> Every time we pause and take a breath, it's very powerful. It does help us with perfect timing. It does help us become divinely aligned with time. And I would love to share with you that there are sponsorship opportunities for the Courageous Self Care Podcast. If you love the message, if you have a product, service, book, coaching practice, something that you feel aligns with this and you want to reach a broader audience that you don't have access to right now, go to christinamarlette.com and fill out a sponsorship application because this podcast is in its infancy. It is very, very reasonable. I think you'll be de delightfully surprised. I was going to say pleasantly surprised, but delightfully came out. That is available for you if you feel aligned. All right, let's get into the third affirmation. This one, oh, I just love it. So as I was saying before, I used to experience time with peace, joy, no, no, worry, stress, and anxiety. I decided to change that consciously. After I kept track of my emotions as they related to time, I realized this isn't serving me. I don't want to experience time with worry, stress, and anxiety, so I created a new affirmation. It is a wonderful reminder. I say this also every morning and every evening and then throughout the day when I need a reminder. The affirmation is, I experience time with peace, joy, and ease. <sighs> Doesn't that feel better than stress, worry, and anxiety? I experience time with peace, joy, and ease. This is especially useful in situations where I'm reminding myself that I have perfect timing. Those words, peace, joy, and ease, make a huge difference to me. You're welcome to use them as well. Or if you have other words that you feel would serve you better and that you feel more connected to energetically, then use those words. What I do recommend is having a powerful affirmation of how you intend and want to experience time. So in that stressful situation where I was running late, reminding myself that I had perfect timing, I also said to myself several times, I experienced time with peace, joy, and ease. Taking a breath, letting all that stress melt away, and reminding myself that I want this wonderful relationship with time. I want time to be my best friend. Wouldn't you want to interact with a friend who considered you to feel peaceful and joyful and at ease? Of course. So cultivating this friendship with time, we can be very mindful about how we do it with conscious awareness. Peace, joy, and ease is a great way to do that. That is what I have to say about affirmations. So the ones that I say every day, I experience time with peace, joy, and ease. I am divinely aligned with time and I have perfect timing. When do I say those? In the morning before I get out of bed, setting up the kind of day I want, and in the evening when I'm brushing my teeth and washing my face. I love to maximize my time. I love to be efficient and yeah, get in as much as I can while feeling peaceful, joyful, and easeful, if that's a word. So that's when I do it in the evening. It fits nicely in and I'm th then I go to bed with pleasant thoughts. It's a great time to do it. I recommend it. Okay, so we're going to wrap things up here. Uh, yeah, go to christinamarlette.com to get your free resource on how to stop up those energy drains. And if you're interested in becoming a sponsor or doing a guest interview, all there at christinamarlette.com. Thank you so much for listening. I have thoroughly enjoyed talking with you. I'm here every Monday through Friday. Be sure to come back and listen for more strategic self-care practices. I would love to finish with a quote from Mark Twain about courage. Courage is resistance to fear. 
not, hang on. Courage is resistance to fear, mastery of fear, not absence of fear. So we are moving forward in life, taking action with strategic self-care that takes courage. There is fear, absolutely. Changing things about ourselves can be scary. And so many benefits on the other side. Thank you so much for listening. I look forward to talking with you again soon. Bye-bye for now.